Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Faye from The Flying Pig, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run Windows on any Intel Mac for free using the built-in bootcamp feature. Let's get started. Before starting, it is worth noting that you'll need at least 50 gigs of free storage on your hard drive, so check for that by going into the Apple logo about this Mac, and storage. And uh, I still have 87 gigs left, so I should be fine for this. And uh, you also need to be running macOS Big Sur. I am right here. After that, you'll need to download the Windows 10 disk image from the link in the description below. Um, this is official Microsoft, so you don't have to worry about viruses or anything. So you're just going to select Windows 10 over here, confirm, it'll validate your request, and then you're going to choose your language. I'm just going to do English, confirm. And now we're going to want to get the 64-bit download. I'm not going to click this. I already have it downloaded over here, but uh, you should click it. Wait for it to download. It's pretty large, but uh, it should download. So once you're done downloading that, you're going to want to go into Bootcamp Assistant. So either you go into Launchpad, Other, and then it should be here, or you can do Spotlight Search. So Command Space, and just search up for Bootcamp assistant and it should be right there Click enter and then there you go okay now I have bootcamp right here so we're gonna have to make a backup first to protect our data just in case something happens and uh, if you have a laptop you make sure to connect it to the power adapter that's what I'll do right now and there we go connected it to the power adapter and I also make a time machine backup. All right, we're done cleaning up. Now we're just going to eject the backup. Now I'm going to click continue. Remove old time machine snapshots. And now you can choose how much storage you want to give Windows. Uh, you can make it give it more, give it less, depends. And uh, I'm going to give it 42 gigs, that's the minimum, so I can have 30 gigs on Mac OS. And uh, one thing to keep in note is uh, once it's created, it cannot be adjusted. Also, the Mac should automatically choose the ISO file for you. If it doesn't, just click choose um, and then you can just choose the ISO file. Now click install. So after it downloads the Microsoft support software, you should see this screen. And it's kind of small, but you can see English, United States, English, English, click next. And uh, I don't have a product key, so I'm just going to use the trial version. The trial version is free, so, uh, but you will not be able to change the wallpaper and there will be a watermark. However, you can use it for as long as you want. I'll go to Windows 10 Pro, next. And now I'm just going to agree to the terms and conditions. And uh, we'll just install on the boot camp, the automatic one. Let's click next. Now it should just go black, go bong, and you'll see the Windows logo. It's gonna restart again. And now you'll run through the Windows setup process. And there we go, we have Windows 10. I'm just gonna click next. Now I'm going to accept this, go through this, blah, blah, blah. Everything's a little small here. So we'll go into settings. And uh, uh, displays. 
and let's change the scale to 175. That's pretty comfortable. And uh, now let's just wait for this to uh, hurry up and uh, download. And now it's done. Click finish and there you go. It'll restart just one more time and you now have successfully installed Windows on your Macintosh computer.